Hello to all the beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make herbal bath powder that can be used on daily basis for children about the age of one year. And this also can be used by adults too. This is a traditional age old recipe made from natural ingredients that are easily available. The beauty of the recipe is that it can be made instant and effortlessly without any grinding process. This herbal bath powder is completely natural, which means they do not contain any chemicals. The natural ingredients in the herbal bath powders keeps the skin clean. This cleaning is far deeper and more effective than store-bought cleansers. It not only removes dirt from the body, but it also nourishes and gently exfoliates, giving you a glowing flawless complexion naturally. So to check the detailed recipe and the procedure, do watch the video all the way through without skipping. And before we begin the video, I would like to wish any of you celebrating birthday or wedding anniversary with the verse from the Bible from Isaiah 60, in which God says, Arise and shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Isn't that wonderful, my friends? Okay, now without further ado, let's start the video. To prepare this herbal bath powder, we need few lentils and herbs powder. Firstly, we need green gram powder. I have used fine quality store-bought powder to ease the process. Add 2 cups of green gram powder to a bowl. As you can see, it is very finely ground. I will be providing the link of all the products used in this video in the description box below. Do check it out. Green gram is a highly potent beauty ingredient which is packed with vitamins and enzymes that nourish and exfoliate the skin, giving you a glowing and flawless complexion. And next we need 1 cup of masoor dal powder that is red lentil. Masoor dal is enriched with essential minerals, vitamins and antioxidants and it works as a great bleaching agent that naturally evens out your skin tone and makes it brighter and radiant. It acts as an exfoliator and helps lighten scars, spots and pigmentation. And next you will need 1 cup of gram flour that is basin powder. It is no secret that basin has been essential part of the Indian women's skincare regime. It's an immense beauty ingredient that effectively removes dirt and other impurities. Next I have taken 2 tablespoons vetiver root powder. Vetiver root is extremely beneficial to the skin and this root has a distinct sweet aroma that helps in the removal of body odor. It also has the highest water retaining properties making it an excellent ingredient for deeply nourishing your skin and balancing the skin's pH level. And also add 2 tablespoons of neem leaves powder. We are all aware of the incredible benefits of neem leaves it is one natural ingredient that you should include in your skincare regime because it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Now mix everything until it is well combined. Now to use this we must add two more important ingredients. To use take the required quantity in the bowl. I have taken 3 tablespoons of bath powder. If using this for children mix this bath powder with milk or if using it for adults Mix it with either milk or curd. You can also add rice water, rose water or just mix it with plain water too. Since I'm using it on my little one, I prefer mixing it with milk. You can either use boiled or raw milk. Milk contains lactic acid. It's a gentle exfoliator. The proteins and fat in the milk moisture and hydrate the skin, leaving it extremely smooth. And now the last and important ingredient to include is almond oil. I'm using Rogan Badam Shireen Sweet Almond Oil which is 100% pure. I've been using this almond oil for many years and it works wonder for my skin. There are many brands available in the market but choosing the right product is the key and I thought I'd share it with you as well. Almond oil is loaded with vitamins, minerals and healthy fats. It helps lighten the scars and pigmentation, giving you a healthy, radiant, glowing skin. Just add few drops of almond oil and give it a good mix. 
Make sure the bath mix is in the right consistency and not too watery. If you prefer using turmeric, you can just add a pinch of wild turmeric to this. Otherwise, you can skip it and use it as and when required. To apply this herbal bath powder, firstly wet the skin with water and then gently rub it in circular motion. You can apply it on your face too. The skin is our body's largest organ. The medicinal and healing properties of the herb enter your body. They nourish and heal your skin. Similarly, when we use bath soaps, the chemicals are absorbed through your skin. So try to include natural bath mix as much as possible in your regular routine. Once done, wash it with warm water. You can use this herbal bath powder on daily basis or at least try using them once or twice a week to exfoliate the chemical deposits of commercial bath soap or body wash. You can feel your skin being cleansed very well even though it doesn't lather up. If you want to make a large batch of this bath powder, simply double the ratio. Store it in an airtight container and keep it away from moisture. The shelf life of this herbal bath mix can be kept in room temperature for up to a month or so. I've made the recipe very simple, prepare it as and when required. I hope you found this video helpful, if so do share it with your loved ones and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in till the end of the video. I'll see you all in another one. Take care and may God bless you.